Uh, this video is about using a game engine, in this case Godot, to build some kind of simulator for open GPS. Uh, this is just a proof of concept, so the structure of this project and code is horrible mess and full of hacks, so this shouldn't be used for any, any more serious purposes. But anyway, for this use I built this tractor model here that can be driven around the world, controlled by yourself or open GPS. As you can see, it's very, very, very simple and rudimentary model, but it works for this proof of, con proof of concept purposes. Uh, this genus is antenna here. It's on the side because I use the same dimensions as in in a real tractor, so I don't need to change anything on the Arc Open GPS software to get it working. Uh, this is a dual antenna setup, so this is the other an other of those antennas. There's another on the other side, but it's not needed on this simulation. And there's some kind of implement-like thing here in the back. It doesn't do, do anything, but represents some kind of implement that you can you can use on the Arc Open GPS site also. So this world world is uh, built with some noise noise height map so there's some hills and shots and there's also this field field like circle here in the center this whole area is uh, is one square kilometer for this uh, be proof of concept i i'm using a uh, coordinates close to the latitude and longitude of zero so it makes calculations much much easier it's uh, middle of south atlantic ocean <laughs> so it's not very good to, good for farming but anyway in simulation you can do the, that kind of things too and you can also add these obstacles if you like. This ramp here, it's actually a huge cube buried in the crowd. So let's start this thing. So as a common GPS is not working yet, you can uh, drive around there without using automatic steering. Of course, you can drive around when the Arc Open GPS is active, also. But anyway, so let's see what this is doing. Organize this just a little. So now this is sending the pogi. Pogi message using UDP protocol, but as I go open GPS and GPS isn't running yet, it, no one is listening to that message. So let's let's start it on the ta tablet. So here it rings and let's choose our C field and delete applied array. So here's the field I I made earlier to the open GPS. As you can see it's following the boundary line quite 
nice if you if you have enough fingers to control all things here. Yeah, let's stop this for a while and choose a boundary line like this. Try how the automatic steering works. Let's take this line here. So now it's following the following the line. As you can see, the ACO Open GPS is sending this steering command with guidance status one. So it's meant to meant to turn the front wheels. That's commanded. Let's paint this boundary. Mm, in this case, the guidance works very quickly because there's no no delay at all, and. Mm, this is an interesting feature on the open CPUs because the guidance line uh, it's got the boundary line. Uh, anyway, uh, so the steering command is immediate. It, uh, there's no no de no delay at all when turning the wheels, so it's unrealistic unrealistic situation but uh, if you if you want to develop this uh, thing further it should be possible to simulate any kind of delays and on linearities and such such if you like but in this in this proof of concept i didn't do anything like that so now we have painted the whole circle so Let's turn the painting off and automatic steering also off. Let's try some more advanced things. Like automatic U-turn. So let's take this straight line here and let's see how it belongs. Activate the automatic U turn. Other way, please. So it turns quite nicely. What the hell happened here? The actual happened. Why it's choosing the lines wherever? What was that? Well, let's get back to interesting. Why did that happen? Well, I don't know if that's what was a bug, but anyway, <laughs> you can use this for testing. Testing the software if you if you like. Let's take the line just again. Uh, so in this uh, simulated environment you can simulate also things you might not want to try in real life like jumping so now we didn't have the automatic U-turn on so it's 
following following the straight line to the edge of the world yeah so this uh, communication yeah oh, in, the, in the code it's based on the teensy code pretty much copy pasted things from there there and modified them to Godot's GD script format you can find very very similar lines on the teensy code oh no we already already dropped to the oblivion so maybe that's a good Good point to stop this. Thanks for watching and there's more information on the description and shots. Bye.